Eddie Cologne's back in his home, back in his shop, and I'm ready to go. Uh, this is Eddie Cologne, EC Details. Welcome back to another episode. If this is your first time watching. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to hit the subscribe, hit the like, because we're doing a 5,000 giveaway sponsored by the man himself, Tin Coats, a.k.a. Baby Hope, a.k.a. Ethos. 5,000, all you have to do is subscribe. That's the cool part about all this nonsense. You don't have to buy any tickets, buy any raffles. Uh, you subscribe, we, we spin the wheel, and then we send it to you. There we go. That's my plug. Fake detail that I can talk about. <laughs> Today is a video I've been waiting for for eight months. I made a video, kind of like a, like a news hit piece, and I got a bunch of like, oh my gosh, Eddie's so negative. The industry needs more positive fake people, and I was like, you know what? Georgia has turned me into a honey badger. My, my radar for not caring is super high. Super high. And it's time to hold people to the standard, right? So I wanna walk you through what we're going with, okay? We're going with Fine Lab Rinseless Wash V3. This is their new Rinseless Wash that came out. The one video I did, I'm gonna play that clip. About five cars with it, customers' cars, my cars, and at the end of the day, I came to the same conclusion. You're like, what is that, Eddie? Look, you can stop watching right here, okay? Hit the subscribe button. If you stop here, subscribe, thickdetailer.com, buy your shirt. It's not good. It's not good. It is not good. Yeah, I made fun of them. I told you not to buy it. It was foamier than me taking a shower with a whole bunch of Irish spring because I love the old stuff. You know, I love when I rub my body with it. Um, and then what happened during that time is Philip, the CEO of a fine life, reached out to me. We had a video call and he had, the guy's very attentive. Philip, shout out to Philip. Super attentive. He was like, what would you do different? And I said, that's a great question. Here's what I would do. So he said, and I quote in the text that he sent me is everything you said that would make this great. We did it. That doesn't scare the crap out of me. Last time they're like, use three buckets, use the soap, use this and that. Now they're saying dilute it one to 256, uh, one to two, 250 in a bucket of water, create a rinse of solution, blah, 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 blah. Super slick, super dissolves contaminants, no hose required. And they're calling it the high grade intensive rinse of wash. And if it's like version one, it's like, you know what it reminds me of? When Christian Bale did Batman, and we thought Batman was stupid, and all of a sudden the dude's like, very dense. And then when he's pulling the guy off the roof, this is, if this comes, Batman, okay? This, throw the bat symbol. All right, let's go. So we're gonna go over that. Uh, next week, stay tuned, because we're gonna hit you up with the new versus watch from Coach Coke Kemi. Um, I would have done it today, but you know what happened? They shipped to the wrong address. So shout out to my boys and Coach Kemi for shipping stuff to me. I appreciate you, Justin. I love your face. And then we're gonna pair this uh, video with this with this, and everyone knows that Eddie Cologne loves, loves himself some legacy sponge. And then we're gonna use a double flip. I am gonna wash it in my Tesla. Newsflash everyone on YouTube. It's not that dirty, I haven't been home in three weeks. But the goal here is to go over slickness. How does it clean windows? Does it streak? It's cold outside. How does it work on a uh, microfiber mitt? I'm going over the basics on this one. I'll do them more in depth, right? You know, and I know that you know one bite, everyone knows the deal. Let's go. We're gonna use our K, cause we're back to using tools. I'm not sure which one does it. Put that in here. We got our hose situation here. We got our bucket of water. We're gonna take our rinseless wash and I have five gallons. I think I have four gallons in this and we're going to start making sure. You can pull the top off kids. All right, pull the top off. I love that they brought this back. There we go. It gets two ounces of the rinseless. In the keg itself, I have two gallons of water and I have diluted one to 250 or close to it. First impressions of this is it's super soft. It's uh, too small for JB's hands, but a little bit of surfactants, you can see just like V1, tiny bit of surfactants, super lubricating. I just, I can feel it in my hands. I can feel it in my hands how lubricating that is. That's wild. All right, so there's some, my sponge isn't getting overly, you know, that's one of the things that I hated the last time. Let me get my microfiber, okay? The smell is amazing, by the way. There we go. We have this, about 120 PSI, 
it's gonna put it all in, it's gonna get it rolling, okay? Once it does its thing, I pop it off, and we're set to go. Here we go. My hose is pressurized, my keg is pressurized, and you see that? We are ready to go. We're slickness with the mitt, okay? Remember, I, my car isn't super dirty, so I'm gonna be honest. I can't. I don't want to say what well, cleans dirt good. I'm gonna go over the glass interaction. How does it look on glass? It's a street glass. It's about uh, 60 in humidity in here. It's cold in Idaho because you know I left the heat with me in Georgia. Shout out to my dudes in Georgia. All right, uh, and then that's the goal of this. Okay, slickness. I want to see how it interacts. And detail spray. Detail. Okay. I have. I don't know if I have it on a foaming side. I think that's on a foaming side. I'm gonna spray that on. And again, I'm going for slickness here. And what are we seeing? What are we getting? Okay. Oh man. Okay. 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 I'm okay a lot. Listen, I haven't done this in my own element in a while. Okay, is it slick? Is it slick? Let me find out again. Yeah, dude, it is freaking slick. How do I compare? Do I compare it to HydroSave? Uh, I wouldn't say it's HydroSave slick. I'm getting McKees V2 slickness. I think HydroSave is a little slicker than McKees, in my opinion. Um, but the smell of this, for instance, wash is, is, is freaking amazing. I'm not sure what it smells like, but they're hitting it on all marks so far. So let me uh, go in here, let me dry it. I got glass here, you know. V1 did streak. I mean, V2 did streak. Look at that. At 256 to 1. Remember, when V1, we had to play math here, okay? We had to really understand math not to get that to streak. But there's no streaking on the glass at 256 to 1. The, the wipe off, the initial wipe off is, is freaking wild. We're doing a spray on here. The smell is intoxicating. And if there is dirt on here, it is doing some pulling of the dirt because there is dirt right here. You can see how it's breaking it up right there. Okay, we're gonna take my microfiber and smell that. It smells great. And I wanna go over slickness and I wanna talk real serious here because I think we're getting to a point where rinseless washes, current rinseless washes are getting so good that you see there's some dirt on here. The dirt went away. Okay, so one drop, just like the new stuff that's coming out. Yeah. Okay. So slick on the slickness on this is a 10 out of 10. Let's talk drying real quick, because I think it's important. The drying process, or how it feels on the drying towel itself, it's real smooth. It's, it's real smooth. Um, man, I am kind of like not in awe anymore because I've tried all the rinseless washes that are good, but the fine labs came to play. My initial thoughts, right? My initial thoughts. It is way better than V1, way better. It stomps on V2 so bad that I, it's not even the same league. It might be up there with everything I'm trying as good. This might be in the category of the top five rinseless. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop some names, some hints for you on the top five rinseless washes and I'll do a video in depth, but I'm gonna name them real fast. Okay, did you get those names? Yeah, I'm not saying it yet, but I'm telling you right now, it is not who you think they are, and it's almost all the new stuff that came out, except for Gion, because I haven't tried Gion yet. So let's try the glass, right? The goal of this is, let's look at how it interacts with glass. We had a big ordeal with fine labs and glass before. We're on glass, it streaked your glass, your credit score, and your mama, sister's cousin, brother, sister, cousin, uncle, you know, the children, children. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's spray it on glass. So glass has always been Fine Labs uh, <laughs> kryptonite, right? So Fine Lab, even Fine Lab U21, where we got the glass here, um, it will streak everything. We're gonna go over, <laughs> since it works good on the mitt now, you know what I'm saying? And it's not frothy, 2000. We're gonna go over here. Man, that smells crazy, the smell they used, okay? It is slick on glass. I have some dirt on the mitt. The old one didn't flash off. The old one would stay. You can see the corner here where I left it and it flashed off. You can see 
here where I left it flash off. You can see the rest of the panel flashing off. So I'm proving to you it's humidity, right? You can see that's still wet because I still need to dry. Okay. And I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna touch it with the rinseless, with the towel that had the rinseless, and we'll let it sit. But you can see how when it starts to dry, it starts to flash off corner to corner. So they improved the sudsiness. It's not as sudsy as before. It feels more like a polymer rinseless. You could, it has a little foam in the bucket, not a lot. I'll show you the foam in the bucket, what I'm talking about. It's minuscule, it's so small. So you can see the foam in the bucket. You see that my sponge isn't getting foamy. It's a little bit of surfactant, just a tiny bit, right? Nothing to, nothing to stress you out about. You can see that the bucket is dirty, so it did pull dirt off the car. You can see it separating here, right? So it, there is dirt on the car, it's cleaning it. So they checked that off, okay? They, what they did was they made it work on glass at the proper dilutions without having to do some type of mathematical equation of five mils per two ounces to get the perfect ratio. They fixed the ratio, they made it easier to use. Uh, the slickness is on par with everything else that came out. It's not slicker than everything, but it's as slick as everything, which is what we want, right? Since we're competing in this arena of rinses washes, the cleaning power, the car didn't look dirty, but you saw the bucket, the bucket was dirty, therefore showing that it is cleaning dirt. Now, how good does it clean dirt dirt? We're gonna have to do part two against uh, the rapid rinseless wash from Coach Kimmy, but it does clean dirt. Amazing. There was a secret cord, rinseless wash, we need an award. Eddie came through for the community. Everyone thought I was cancer. I Everyone's like, Eddie's so harsh. Bro, listen, listen. Thank you, you're, you're, I, you're welcome, you're welcome. Because of me being a 100% douchebag, making you know, a video, uh, like a hate video, like it's, it's the elections, they came out with this. All I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say. Let's check some things. One, did they fix the slickness problem? Check. Slick as crap, just like everything else that's coming out. Did they fix the smell? Check. Just like we wanted. Is it V1 updated? Check. Check, check, check. Does it streak my glass like it does my credit score? No. Check. I'm gonna leave it at that. I haven't done my full review. This is just a sample. I'm back, baby. I'm back in my element. That's all I'm gonna say. Eddie Cologne, easy details. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Fine Lab V3, fake detailer, gets you 10% off to Fine Lab V3. Is it worth buying? Is it worth buying? Yes. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Is it worth your money today? Yes. Is it a polymer or surfactant? I have no freaking idea. It does get my bucket kind of sudsy, McKee sudsy, but, but, I couldn't get it to foam. Everything I told him had that I needed to change, you change. So I'm gonna say. Next review coming out, we're gonna put this against RRW, the new Coach Kemi Rinseless Wash. I will give this five stars. They're back. They're back. I'm out.